All right, guys, so welcome to Schmatz Outdoors. I'm just getting ready to go again for the morning here. Uh, I loaded up, I got uh, five footholds and five one tens. I also put in another mink trap there. Uh, one of the mink traps, the way the uh, springs were twisted, it wouldn't actually slide into my mink box, only just up to like half the spring. So I'm afraid if they just step on it right, it's just gonna fall out the front. Uh, so we'll replace that trap when I get there. Uh, like I said, there's by that big culvert in what we call Bartlett Slough, I'm gonna probably move my mink box. I got thinking I don't like really how it's setting, where it's setting. So I'm probably gonna move my mink box and then I'm gonna put at least four of these uh, muskrat sets back there. I grabbed a few extras, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to find places, like I said, where I can stab them off the road where I don't have to stand in the water to get there, you know, like by a culvert or something like that. Uh, but I grabbed a few anyway, just so, see, I, I'm pretty sure the sloughs will all be still open and it's supposed to stay warm, at least for the next few days here. So I think they'll stay open, at least around like the culvert and, but yeah, otherwise I think I'm loaded up. I didn't. Didn't really touch up anything in my truck, you know, the coyote bag or anything like that. Like, same thing as the last check, if I need to, I'll do it out on the line. I had plenty of urine in the peat moss. I have an extra pail in the truck, so should be good to go. Well, like I said, the sun is just coming up, so I don't need to be in too big a hurry here, but uh, I kind of like to let the coyotes run around a little bit, you know, because they still run in the morning, so. Um, yeah, the sun is just peeking over the horizon, so we'll get going. We'll take it easy at the beginning part of the line here, and once the sun gets up a ways, then we'll hit her hard, and hopefully uh, got some catches to show you guys. All right, guys, uh, line's been a little slow today. Uh, I'm back to where I had the two coons the other day, and I got the weasel box. Um, I'm not sure. I think the trap's all set off, but I couldn't see through the hole what, what's in there. Oh, just the mouse today. Big fat mouse. All right, we'll get uh, we'll use him as bait. We'll throw him in the back of the box. We'll get this reset, and we're on to the next one. All right, guys. So I'm making it through the line fairly quick again. Uh, I've had a squirrel caught in a coyote set that. I didn't show you and I've had two more mice in weasel boxes so I've got three squirrels and a mice or three mice and a squirrel now um, over here in this grove I had the two skunks the other day so I got this culvert going under the road I thought maybe this was mink poop on the culvert here but right here's my mink box and I got a stinker in there not a real big guy but well uh, so that's the first catch of the day. Um, well, I don't know, we had this discussion before, but is it getting skunked if you made a catch? Because I have a, have a skunk, but yet I caught a skunk, so did I get skunked? I don't know. It's like the chicken and the egg kind of deal. All right, we'll uh, get this mink box reset here. We'll get that skunk out of there, and uh, we'll uh, move on. All right, guys. Uh, Things been a little bit slow here, but it hasn't been too bad. Uh, what I am, I'm by this big slew here. You got this big culvert. Um, I'm just looking, you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it goes right out here. Goes right around the corner, and then it kind of goes over this way, right through here, right here. There's a strip of like six inches wide open water, and then it goes right here and goes this way. And it, well, it kind of weaves its way actually out through this little opening here. I imagine they're going out here, but I'm going to try and put a muskrat set probably right here again. Probably one right here so I can uh, stand on this culvert and stab it in. Because it's real super muddy in here and I, I don't want to wear waders to check these. So I'm going to put one here and one here. Uh, I'm surprised the sewers are froze over. It wasn't that cold last night, but... And then on this side I noticed... Um, go on right like I said I, you guys probably aren't going to be able to see, tell too well but it goes right here it cuts out and it goes there's some bubbles under the ice right here there's a kind of an open strip so I'm going to try and put like a set right here and a set right here 
I noticed when I got out of my truck though, on the dirt, I believe that's mink tracks right there, unless I'm mistaken. I'm not an expert. I'm pretty sure that's coyote tracks right there. Uh, and they were not here uh, when I set this trap, but I do have a mink box over here. I do not like at all how my box is setting, so we're going to, uh, you know, I kind of had it so they could step up on that rock and go in there, but I'm actually going to move it right over here. Uh, there's a little more cover over there. It's going to set there a heck of a lot nicer. Kind of looks like, if I had to, if I had to guess, oh yeah, right here, this rock is just covered with rat poo on there. And the other day when I set that box, I told you there was uh, muskrat. He was setting like right here, and there was one setting right over there. So I may just put a foothold like just in front of that rock there or something, see if I can catch him trying to climb up on that rock. But anyway, I'm gonna put at least two baited sets on each side of the road here, and I'm gonna move that mink box over to right down here. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit better spot to set it. It'll set a little nicer, because over there it's like leaning on these rocks, and otherwise if I can't get it to set how I like over there, I'm gonna move it right here. You know, it's kind of behind these things. I wish it was closer to the culvert, but I might set it right here too. All right, we'll get the, everything situated, set here, and we'll get moved on. I got a weasel box up here to check, so we'll see if I got anything. All right, guys, we'll just give you a quick rundown here of what I put. Um, so I got a 110 right here with a carrot right at water level. Uh, the trap I had here originally, you know, when I was trapping muskrats, was a set off like every damn day, and I think the wind and whatever, but hopefully that guy will stay set a little better. And right here I have a foothold with a carrot above it. And on this side of the road, like I said, every time I've drove by here, the water's been open here, so uh, right here there's a 110 with a carrot. Right here there's a pole set with a carrot above the water. And then right over here is that rock where, and I kind of blocked it off a little bit, hoping they will come in where I want them to. And now that I look at that, I'm gonna like remove this stick here, but I have it staked out as deep as I wanted to reach. So hopefully they'll go out here and drown, so. And then, uh, oh, sorry. And then I moved my mink box right here. It was sitting right over here. I moved it over here. I don't know that it's necessarily covered up any better or whatever, it's just sitting there a lot nicer. Um, We'll give this a shot. Like I said, I'm gonna fix this one up just a little bit, move that one stick, and we'll be on our way. All right, guys, so I just put those muskrat sets in the sewer right down here. This is the weasel box I keep catching the moles in. I, I haven't looked in there. I don't know if this trap's even set off, but we're gonna show you guys. Ooh, all my bait is gone. The entire works other than the mole that I got caught. But there was three moles and two chicken legs back here and it's all gone. Um, we'll get this guy thrown in there for bait. That's all I have. So that's all that's gonna be in there for today. I don't know I said if it's a weasel or if I just keep getting more and more moles. They took the whole leg, the bone leg, the leg bone of the chicken thighs. That's gotta be more than a mole I would think. I feel like I probably have a weasel here, so I may have to uh, scrounge up some more bait for this tomorrow when I come by. All right, guys, so I haven't showed you this spot before. What I have uh, up here, there's like 40 acres roughly of CRP here. Uh, there was snow on the ground. I set, there's a dog proof right here, and there's a dog proof on the other side of this culvert right over here. Uh, there was fresh raccoon tracks through this culvert in the snow, like within the day of when I had set those traps. These guys have not been messed with the entire time they've been sitting here. But there's a, on that side it's not CRP, it's just a grass ditch. So I put a weasel box, I had it setting uh, probably like right here. And the last time I come by, I moved it over here. And I'm pretty sure that I have a catch in here. Box is frozen. Oh, there we go. 
and bingo bango there he is uh looks like i must have got him coming out instead of going in but he's probably about the same size as the one i caught yesterday so i've caught three mice and now a weasel in my mink but or my weasel boxes um and a shrew so i've had a catch in every one um yeah we'll uh get this guy out of here my bait looks good in the back back there like i said it's a chicken thigh just wondering if i could steal some of that bait i'm gonna actually probably try and cut this chicken thigh in half so i can go put uh so i can run back to that last box and put some bait back in there other than just that shrew so i think i am going to do that i'm going to try and cut that just a chunk of meat or something off of that um yeah i do have a pocket knife so we're gonna do that we'll get this weasel out of here like i said i just moved it it was over there and i kind of decided well if they're running through here they're gonna go right around these two rocks most likely and go through so it worked out one day after i moved it i got a weasel so that's three weasels now and i got three checks left so i don't know that's just kind of dumb like i said it, it's they're they're not worth a fortune i know that it's kind of just fun for me honestly i mean that's my first like real fur animal for this for today so not not skunked anymore so it's a good sign but yeah we'll get this guy out of here uh we're gonna steal half of this bait and uh i'm gonna make a loop i'm running my line a little bit differently today uh, just because it's thanksgiving but uh i'm kind of making a loop back to where i'm gonna eat my thanksgiving lunch but uh yeah so we'll get this guy out of here like i said we're gonna steal half the bait and uh get moving on all right guys i'm just down to the next set i uh i got this feed lot behind us i got a coyote set over uh, it's about right here um I've caught seven coyotes here already and I see you today we got ourselves another one I mean it's just uh there's a big slough back here you can just see it through the trees and they got these trees planted kind of around the edge and I got my coyote set just kind of on the edge uh I've caught a couple just over the hill and a snare down there I think this is this probably the third one in this set maybe second one I don't know between this set and the foothold over there I've caught four in footholds here and I've snared four, so he's a pretty nice, nice dog. This set is just leveled. Oh, there he goes. I mean, he he's got yeah. He, uh, I take that back. He's rubbed pretty good on top of his back, just like all the rest of them I've got here. But boy, I hope hope you guys pick that up. But yeah, you can see oh, right right here. He's missing a whole big batch of fur, but. Anyway, I hope you guys can hear that because it's loud. All right, we'll get this guy dispatched. We'll, we'll get him out of here and we'll get moved on. All right, guys, so I'm back to this weasel box here. I uh, There was actually two chicken thighs in that last one, the one I caught the actual weasel in. So I just grabbed one of the two. They were froze together. But I, so it's been like 45 minutes since I was here. And look at that. I got another shrew and I was here literally 45 minutes ago. No wonder I can't catch a weasel in here if I, 45 minutes I got another one of these caught. We'll take him out of there, throw him in the back and we'll throw this chunk of chicken in there and we'll get on our way. All right guys, it's been a real slow through the last half of the line here. I mean like nothing, nothing's been touched. I didn't have to remake anything. Um, super slow. Uh, I haven't shown you this set before what it is. There's this big ravine here. Uh, I got a couple muskrat sets in the bottom. Uh, I have a coyote set over this way. I had a skunk in the other day, but today I got a nice coyote. It's, uh, he's not fat, fat, like a big, that big, but he's just a big coyote, big bodied. Good one to get out of here. This is right on our land, so perfect. Like I said, third one of the year off of our land, which is awesome. Uh, the guys during deer season gutted a deer, like, let's see, right here on the edge of this little grass. 
And within two days, the coyotes, I had pictures of them on game camera. The coyotes were in here and cleaned up the gut pile in two days. So, yeah, so that makes two coyotes for today. That's number 38 for the season. Uh, we definitely could make a run at 40. I got three, three good checks left. Yeah, three checks left. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm pulling the entire line. So, I don't know. If a guy could catch two in three days and hit that 40 mark. I mean, I it doesn't matter now, honestly. Like, I'm 10 above my previous best year. and But, all right, we'll get this guy to spash. I got a few more sets on th in this pasture, and I got some in the other pasture to check, too. So, you never know. We might have more in this. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you back in the yard. All right, guys, I made it back to the house here. Um, turned out to be a so-so day, but I mean, I can't complain. Uh, I got three days left, uh, two, two normal check days, the third day is a check day and then pull and everything. So I don't know, we'll uh, see how the season wraps up here towards the end. Uh, I mean, I expected things to slow down. It definitely has, but you know, still bring it home for every day. So. We'll give you a quick look at what we got today. This is the first coyote I caught. He's re real big, but man, he is rubbed. Just something terrible. So I don't know, I gotta make a call on whether I'm gonna even skin him. I mean, he's literally missing an eight inch strip of fur on the top of his neck. Um, and then we got the trof trophy weasel again. That's the third one of the season for me. And you know, very well could be the last. I do have uh, my boxes out. I got a skunk in the bag and then this is the coyote I just caught. You know, he's a pretty nice coyote. He's got a few burrs and he's dirty, but you know, these are just burrs, but he's full, full furred, real nice, thick, heavy fur. So this guy here is definitely going to get skinned. Um, I'm not sure we'll have to see. I said, I got to make a call on that one. He's got super nice fur. I mean, all this fur is like super soft and pretty. It's just so rubbed on the back that I don't know if he's worth, I don't know. You know, he might be worth 10 bucks at the most to the fur buyer missing all of his hair like that. I'm gonna have to, like I said, I'll have to give him a better look, but it's kind of a shame. You know, he's finally getting, you know, prime coyote, you know, a heavy fur coyote and then to be rubbed so bad, but. And then that skunk, he stinks. He sprayed in the trap and he stinks. So we're going to try and get him out of the way and out of the, you know, get him so he ain't upwind to where I'm at. But yeah, not a bad day on the line. Uh, like I said, I'm up to 38 coyotes. I got three checks left. So, I mean, you never know. Could definitely hit that 40 mark or even more than that. I mean, I'm super stoked with what I got. So, you know, 38 is a heck of a number for, for me anyway. You know, a coyote and a half or better per day average. That's, I think anybody would be happy with that. So anyway, uh, I just want to thank you guys for riding along with me again today. Um, if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm putting up videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you like what you're watching and leave a comment below. I love to hear what you guys have to say about what I'm doing. Uh, good or bad, let me know. If you got ideas on what I can do different or better, let me know. I did put out six muskrat sets around a couple of the mink boxes. So we'll see if any of those pay off in the morning. Yeah, otherwise we'll see you out on the line tomorrow.